it's me again. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm here uh, south of the border again, which is uh, on the border of South and North Carolina. This odd looking place that was probably a cool place in the 50s. Amusement parks and, you know, stuff for kids and stuff for sale. But I'm here because it's on my way for where I'm going and me and my dog I always have to pee by the time we get to about here so we stop and um, see I bought this Nikon FM a couple of weeks ago already I developed one film of a Fuji 400 which I'll show you photographs I did an unboxing video of this, but I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't really like it. So I'll include some of the footage in this video, so you can see uh, the unboxing. Because I bought it in from a camera shop in Japan on eBay, and it came um, quite wrapped. It took me like a half hour to. In uh, south of the border, there's a couple of spots I, I really like to photograph. So uh, we're gonna go take a walk and take a couple of photographs of uh, the motel right here. Uh, I have Portra 160 in here, okay, so I'm I'm gonna overexpose these shots a little bit just to make sure I get some shots. But hey, unlike my Leica M4, which I, I had to abandon because. Uh, I gave it up because my, my shots weren't good. I was always underexposing or overexposing. Had to buy a light meter and uh, you know, it was just a hassle. So uh, I, I got this one here, which has a light meter and it works with my uh, flash that I used. It works with flashes, man. That's cool. I'll, sh I'll show you later in another video, uh, the setup of this, but um, so uh, it's a really fun camera to use it's a brick i mean it's built really solid and strong and i got it for like 300 dollars on ebay and it, it's like in mint condition and i use uh it came with a, a 50 millimeter ai um what was it 1.4 lens so that's pretty good uh, so far I've been getting really good results with my one film I developed uh, and I normally scan with um, Epson V600 and I don't like that so I just I just finally set myself up for uh, scanning with my digital camera with my uh, Fujifilm X-T5 and I bought a TT Artisan macro lens 100 bucks on Amazon and it'll do the trick and according to all these youtubers it works pretty fine like that better than uh, scanning them with the epson so i'm gonna try that so let's go take some photographs with my new nikon fm
today is November 4th and the me of November 1st doesn't know yet but something is about to not go the way I planned. See, as you're watching this video, life seems nice and easy. I'm all happy. I'm taking photographs of that nice place with my new Nikon FM and uh, Kodak Portra 160. But let's go back to yesterday, November 3rd, just to see what exactly went wrong. film my C41 and uh, here is the result see it see it yeah my film is completely see-through <laughs> I didn't do a snip this that's what happens see <laughs> I decided I'm sharing this video anyways because this is the kind of thing that happens when I sometimes decide to skip a step. So my de my developer was was uh, was bad, and uh, I would have known had I done my snip test. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I was gonna develop my film scan it using my new uh, digital camera lens that I just received in the mail and uh, I was going to finish my video upload my video I'm going to upload the video anyways because uh, yeah if there are some new people uh, getting into developing and watch this video well know that this can happen it's frustrating oh it's frustrating i want to swear seriously i want to say french swear words there's not too much camera shake the iPhone 12 Pro Max is supposed to handle stabilization um, let's talk about my FM for a minute see this is a fully mechanical camera it has two uh, small batteries LR376 something like that for the light meter and uh, there's also a little button here that you press when you want to see your depth of field that's pretty cool too you have a little lock here so you can't uh, accidentally lose a shot and you click this little thing here like that and now it's turned on and if you sh and if you close it like that the camera's turned off so when you have your camera like that you're not going to lose you're not going to waste your batteries so these are all nice cool functions and like I said earlier I don't know how it works but I have a, a, a light pix flash q20 2 which I use with my Leica and my uh, my Fujifilm I use with all my cameras and to my surprise it worked it fired up with this thing here 
and but the sink speed is only 125 or lower so you know at least I have that flash and uh, I, th I think that's pretty pretty fun and uh, what else can I say about that I have a, a timer and this camera was in production from 196 uh, sorry 1977 all the way up till 1982 when they came out with the FM2 which had some other functions and uh, you see down here you could put a an automatic winder in it so this camera was great for like fo photojournalism and uh, not so expensive when it came out and a lot of people loved it because of its ruggedness and uh, it's really solid and strong so now let's look at this I kind of like this shot here look at it it's empty and gray which is perfect for me oh here this is how I'm gonna compose it camera in between this, this fence to get this shot here. I was at uh, f2.8 at 2 50th of a second, so I thought that was a little too much, so I raised it up. 60th of a second f 5.6 because I I didn't want too much blur so I'm gonna take a couple of shots here it's kind of nice that motel I was talking about the highway is pretty loud uh, I already took 24 shots I'll take a couple more there then we're gonna head back and eventually develop I'll have 10 more uh, shots to take which I'll probably just waste just because I'm too anxious to develop something I do very often <laughs> all right let's go but I'm a big 70s style buff. I'm probably gonna redecorate my apartment all 70s style, trying to find old wood panelings and all stuff like that. All the decorations we were really happy to get rid of when I was a kid. Well, I want them back. <laughs> so that's the kind of scene I like because you can tell it's from that era. And since I'll be shooting film, I think it's gonna look pretty cool. with my Kodak Portra 160 had my developer been good so uh, yep that happens all right well this concludes this video with my Nikon 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 I don't say Nikon because it sounds like Southern American 
country western song. I got my knack on. <laughs> I don't want to laugh at them. It's just not my way of speaking. So my Nikon FM. Hope you enjoy these photographs. I hope you enjoy my little walk around south of the border. So if you're not subscribed, you can consider subscribing. You don't have to hit that bell button because we we get hit up enough with uh, notifications left and right. You don't need to be notified when I make a video, but uh, you do need to watch it anyways. <laughs> so I uh, hope you enjoyed, stay well, and I hope you join me in my next video.